Andrew McCart, IFL TV, and associated with MTK Global. I'm here in MTK Scotland, gym near Glasgow. With me, I've got the Fight and Pride of Ireland, Paddy yep, Barnes. Right <laughs> Fight and Pride of Ireland. Me. It's all to me, yeah. Fight and Pride of Ireland. Oh, Sean, you're, 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 not in, you're not in the Fight and Pride of your street. Right, Paddy, you return December 22nd. You're expecting that water to come oh, over your head, aren't you? This is torture. <laughs> well, explain to, explain to everyone what you did this morning, half past four this morning. Well, Tom McKenna, I'll tell you this first. Tom McKenna soaked the yard a unprovoked to a bottle of water. So I said, that's okay. Whoa, my camera! <laughs> there you go. There you Should go, that's set there now. He's up here now. Even my boys are even. We are definitely even Tom. <laughs> anyway, right? Right, so that's what happened. We just, you just basically up on it on the face. Right? You, want, you want to move, buddy? You're sitting in water, man. Doesn't matter, I'm soaked anyway. So, um. I'm soaked. Dear Tal the Fuck. Aww, oh, you happy, bum? <laughs> right? Turn up her ear, like, right? <laughs> so, uh. So I woke up. I sat around at 3 o'clock in the morning. And I couldn't get up. Oh, Jesus. Right? I couldn't get up. <laughs> and then, for so some reason, I woke up before this morning. I mean, you know what? I think it's insane. I have to do this. So I went in and filled like water up in like a jug. And I walked in, and he must have heard me. And he got up, and I only got I, like only got a half around him. Yeah. Soaked him, and he said he wanted to kill me. So I ran to my room and locked the door. Because <laughs> he. Was, well, it seems like it's uh, a fun camp to be in, isn't it? It's not really like <laughs> you're on edge twenty four seven. My head's gone grey. <laughs> You'd be looking like me, like you said. Now nah, nah, he's, he's threatening the shape of her, so it's. It's dangerous. Well, anyway, let's just jump straight into it because I, I won't keep you long because you're absolutely <laughs> soaking. Uh, you're back, you return December 22nd on a huge bill yeah. uh, Frampton and uh, Warrington. Uh, just talk to how excited you are to return to the ring. Yeah, I'm really, really excited. Oh, I've only fought once this year. I could have fought a few more times, but I wanted to um, quit history and try and be worth talking. I'm sick of fight. So uh, I turned down two fights. I'm a Franklin Cullen bill. But uh, getting the, the show back in the road on the 22nd of December on the Franklin bill. Oh, it's a big, big Belfast bill, you could say, because all the, almost all the best players in Belfast are on it. Uh, so it's, it's great to be a, a part of it, and I'm really, really looking forward to it. Again, it's like Belfast has taken over. I mean, Mick's been added, Mick Collins been added, Stephen Ward's fighting on the bill as well. So. Yeah. It must feel like a home show to them, all the Belfast yeah, crowds show. Yeah, big thing, you know, um, loads of Belfast boys on it. Um, won't be surprised if there's another few, because you know, Frank Moore has Lewis Crager, he could be on it too. Mm -hmm. But um, oh, it's, it's great, it's going to be a, a great build to be a part of. I remember um, watching, being there, sorry, for Scott Quigg first from him. Mm -hmm. Atmosphere was unbelievable. It's a good, good arena there, I mean, yeah, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah, And Josh Warren and his fans are crazy, so. It's gonna be a, a, a great um, night of boxing. Well, we'll talk about your last. We'll talk about your last fight in particular. But again, you stepped up to world level in only your sixth fight, like you said. Yeah. <laughs> After that fight, I know you got stopped by the guy and all this sort of stuff. But do you feel like that's where you belong? You don't want to step down, or do you want to just continue following really, on that world not level? Not really, thing? but I know for this fight, I'm, I'm probably gonna have to step down because um, it's, it's only a sixth rounder, and the top boys aren't, aren't gonna want to fight six rounds against me. I mean, mm. it's just, it's just, it'll be silly. So get this fight out of the way, and hopefully like March, April time, you know, fight ten rounder against so a season pro from like Mexico or something, mm. or South, South America. Um, this time I'm behind you, just watch. Ah, uh, he's alright. But no, get back in the. But I think maybe two or three more fights, and another charge for World Title. You know, I'll be still within ten fights. You know, if I lose, I lose. I know where I am. I'm at. Like it's. Mm. I, I was devastated to lost that fight. You no. Know, um, to be honest, it was a pretty close, close fight up in 10. It was very early. Um, I think both were still working each other out. But what's that fella? He faced that pace the whole fight. Mm -hmm. I thought it was a very, very slow pace. And I was thinking, you know, I've never done 12 rounds in my life. So I think maybe I'd give us a go six or seven rounds and then up it. Mm -hmm. If I can, I felt really, really comfortable. Um, but obviously, in the fourth round, he caught me with a shot and, you know, Regardless of what I thought, the, the fight was over. It was, it, was, it was a perfect shot, and there's nothing uh, that I could, I could have done about it. You know, he, he could hit me that shot in a tough round. 
Mm. It's, it doesn't matter which round it was. You see people like, right, no, nah, he jumped in too soon. Yeah, I did, so what? I don't care, it's my career, do a lot of it. But mm. a, lot of, a lot of people saying, ah, oh, he's not seasoned enough. Like, I'm, people aren't human, like, you fucking. But you've had that, you've had it. I'll say the how you burn a hat, we've all done these sort of shots, you know what I mean? So people thought, don't really know about boxing. And plus, as well, um, it's the best shape I've ever been in. You know, I fit really fit, fit really, mm. really strong. This is what it is, these things happen, so what? So you're saying maybe next year or two thousand. I would think Rosales next week again. I don't really care, like, you know what I mean? Just devastating on the loss of my record, but so what? You've lost in the amateurs, like, lot, you, you were That's why minutes, so. that's why it hasn't really affected me as much as maybe like say like, if Trump McCann losing, he's had like sixteen and one, maybe mm. or something we'll see it, sixteen fights. No like ter- um Ty Flanagan, mm-hmm. no thirty three and one or something, no it'll affect them it's more affect me. I'm I'm fresh from the amateurs. I see him losing every week, you know, all over the world. <laughs> But, uh, <coughs> so, yes, I am devastated, but I think it took me quicker to forget about it, you know, and... You, are you out of it now? Are you, uh, is that behind you now, that fight, or...? Is, yeah, is I think about one? a week it took me to get over it, like, you know. Yeah. It's just to build up, because it's hard being from Ireland, being from Ireland to, get, to get an actual word to the shot, you know what I mean? So, I'm just, I'm, I'm just happy that the team on with NTK were able to deliver something for me. Would you revisit the Rosales fight or would you probably aim for the, one of the other world champions of a Baker Bell if it comes along or? Well, I, I think realistically, I won't get that shot again at Rosales, you know mm-hmm. what I mean? I think that's gone. Like, I need to fit my way back up to the rank, to the rank and to get to push for a title because mm-hmm. he won't give me that fight. If I was him, I wouldn't give fit again, it's, it's, it's stupid. So, maybe for any other belt, you know, WBO with Tanaka, He's a killer, but I'm here to be killed. Do you want to kill me? <laughs> you know, IBF champion um, from South Africa, which is probably Charlie Edwards, probably one of my favourite mm. for some weird reason because he's, he was super fly and then all of a sudden he drank fly weight, which is very, very strange, but I think he'll get that fight. And then you got the WBA champion from Ukraine. Well, they're all pretty solid champions, but you know. But with NTK, I'm pretty sure they will get you a well, shot NTK, at some, some time. Just, just shows how good of a mind team they are. Mm-hmm. Um, all the best contacts in the world. And um, they got me the fate, so not a few fates. Well, let's talk about a couple of your mates that are on that bill with you. Mick Conlon, he just won in, in Vegas. He's on this yeah. show in December. How long do we see Mick getting his shot at the world title? Uh, the difference between me and Mick, you know, Mick's a lot younger than me, mm-hmm. so he has more time, let's say, to build his professional experience up. So I would say, like, Mick could possibly be fighting for a world title, I think, maybe early 2020. You know, it's not going to need to the next year. Mm-hmm. You know, all the skills in the world, but you know, he's a great team in him, top rank. Um, and they won't want to rush him in, do you think? R- rush him in, it. Tough division, the featherweight division. And, and, it's, and like, it's five bits different from flyweight, you know, mm-hmm. there's a bigger. Put the talent on yeah, that one, yeah. you know what I mean? Well, but uh, which, again, you know, Carl very, very well in that. Yeah, I've seen sometimes you have a little bit of banter with uh, Warrington on Twitter and all this yeah. sort of stuff. What's your thoughts on that fight? It's going to be a very, very good fight. Uh, Warrington, you know, you get what you see. He's all action fighter coming forward. Mm-hmm. I just think Warrington's style suits Fratton um, because Fratton can fight, but also he's a very, very good boxer. I think Fratton will. I don't know what's game plan, but I think Fat was really boxing. Okay, aside from yourself, last question, Paddy, before I let you get you to your training session. Who's the best fighter in Belfast? You've got Tyrone over there, Frampton, Mick. You've got some good fighters, but who's who's the best? Um, The best? Tyrone. Fighter in Belfast. <laughs> probably be. You can see you if you Me, want. maybe? Yeah. Well, me, what? and then maybe. Me, and then maybe uh, <laughs> Tyrone McCarthy, and then uh, <laughs> Trump McCullough, he knows from Derry. Then Mick Carr. That's the only box from Belfast, really, isn't it? <laughs> Look at Tyrone's face. Right, but I'll let you go and uh, thank you for this. This is actually my first interview, probably the 12th time I ask, and you know that. I know, because I can't understand this guy's accent. So when you ask me questions, I don't even understand the hard. Belfast accent, so I don't know how we go for this interview. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, again, Paddy, appreciate this 5 TV, and uh, good luck on the 22nd of December. No problem.